Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install VS Code on WSL2. As always guys, we provide written instructions that go along with our videos. You will find the link to this article in the video description below, or if you watch this on Umix, it's in your upper left corner. Now, if you open up this article and you click on install VS Code on WSL2, you find all of the steps that we are going through in this video. Now, installing VS Code on WSL2 is really easy. The reason why I want you to pull up this article is because you need to make sure you have uh, VS Code installed on Windows before you can install it on WSL2. And you will also find the instructions on how to install VS Code on Windows inside of this article. So I recommend you to follow the first few steps here. There's also an alternative to install VS Code through the Microsoft Store, but we do recommend following this tutorial or those five steps to quickly go ahead and install VS Code on Windows. And once you are done with this, we can go ahead and install it on WSL2. All right, assuming you have it installed on, w on uh, Windows, then you can open up your WSL2 terminal. I am running Ubuntu 2204.1 LTS here in Windows Terminal. In case you're wondering why my terminal probably looks different than yours, we have a complete WSL2 instructional series on the blog on cosec.com. I leave the link in the video description below for you to check that out if you are interested in making your terminal a little bit nicer. Now, once you have VS Code installed on Windows, the only thing you need to do inside of WSL2 is type code. And once you type code, I have it already set up here, but once you type code, um, it will ask you to install the VS Code x64 server extension thing. Just agree with yes, it will quickly download something and install it inside of WSL2. And once you have that installed, all you need to do to launch your VS Code out of WSL2 is type code. Now, why is that useful? That's useful because you can now do some things like those. Um, this is something I'm using heavily in my development workflow on a daily basis. So if I create a new directory here, let's say called temp, or it already exists, we already have a temp folder. Uh, so let's do um, make their temp2, cd temp2. And then let's say we create a Python file here, touch um, test.py clear. And let's say we do an ls and we see we are inside of the temp2 folder. And we have this test.py file here. Now the beauty of this is, you can now just type code space dot. And this will open up VS code inside or basically out of your WSL2 folder, you always have to do trust the orders. It's just because it's an off system path. Basically, it also shows you the path here. I usually just uh, check this to always trust files in the folder or in the parent root folder of your WSL2 user. And now you can see that VS Code is launched out of WSL2 indicated on uh, the icon in the lower left corner here. And if you click on it, you can also reopen this folder in Windows, which will not help you very much. Um, but uh, VS Code might ask you to install the WSL2 extension. If you don't have that installed, just install it if that message pops up. But now you can see you're inside of your temp folder inside of WSL2 and you can work with your files that way. So this is really all there is to it. This is how to install VS Code on WSL2. If you like this video, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. On this channel, we provide a lot of rapid fire instructionals, quick and to the point. So if you search some technical stuff for programming, ethical hacking, Linux, or so on, make sure to open up this channel, search for the term that you, the things that you want to install or want to set up and see if you find some solutions there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.